Hello, Damon Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the USB version of the Sony optical disk archive drive. Um, we've got the generation 3 drive here, which is the D380. Um, so what we're going to do is actually connect this up to a PC, a Mac and a Linux machine and just show how the cartridges can be accessed on all of these machines. And this is quite important because obviously if you're archiving data, you may be using a PC today and in the future want to move to a Mac or a Linux operating system to access your data. So writing it into a media or format that you cannot access on those platforms in the future um, could potentially be a big problem. But what we'll show is how you can actually be writing and archiving your data maybe on a Mac, then take that cartridge four, five, ten years later, plug it into a Windows machine and read the files back from that same machine. So let's jump into it. We'll first of all look at the Macs, then the Windows machine, then the Linux machine, and then at the end we'll have a look at the Petasite library and actually take a cartridge from the big robotic library and read that again in the uh, standalone drive as well. Okay, so connected to the Mac here, and you can see the ODA cartridge appears on the desktop, like any other uh, hard disk or device that's attached to a Mac, and we can browse through. Again, we can see the folder here. If I browse into the folder, you can see we've got a couple of uh, video files that are written there. And like on the PC and uh, Linux, uh, we've got the optical file utility and the optical disk archive utility. Okay, so we're connected to Windows 10 machine. You can see we've got the various uh, utilities here. If I open up the optical disk archive, we can see we've got the uh, drive attached and various cartridge details here. What we can actually do is go to Explorer and if I go to this PC, we can see the cartridge and drive appear as a drive letter, just as if a USB hard disk or a memory stick had been plugged in. And if I browse through here, we can see the folders and we've got a couple of video files on here. Again, these can be opened directly from the uh, drive. Writing files is as simple as creating a folder, dragging the files on and then actually writing them to the media. Let's uh, switch over to a Linux machine and we'll take a look at the same cartridge on there. Okay, so you can see we're connected to a Linux machine. It's actually running CentOS. Um, Red Hat Linux is the supported versions with the Sony Optical Archive drive. Again, you can see we've got the drive attached, the same cartridges here. And if I go through to the File Explorer, we can see again we've got the cartridge. And I can browse through to here, and again, see the video files that are on the cartridge. Again, data can be written to this, just like a hard disk drag the files on and write them to the cartridge. Okay, one of the really good things with the uh, ODA system is you can actually take a cartridge from the PET site, place it into a standalone drive and read it because it's the same cartridges and the same data. So this would mean less that you could have lots of the USB drives at remote sites writing data and they could be sent back centrally to the PET site system. So what I'm going to do is I'll go and export a cartridge from the PET site um, I'll also export the cartridge from here and uh, we'll go and load one in and just to show that. In fact what I'll also do is load a generation 1 cartridge because that's the other thing with the USB and the fiber channel drives in the PET site is they are backwardly compatible with all generations in the media. They will read both generation 1, 2 and 3 cartridges. Um, the generation 3 drive will write generation 2 and generation 3 media. Okay, so the cartridge has now been uh, recognised and we can browse through again, Explorer, and we can see here we've got the Generation 1 cartridge. I think if I do a properties on here, we can see this is a 300 gig cartridge and we've got 11 gigs of data on here. If I browse through, we can see some various uh, files here that have been written. These are actual archive volumes from Point uh, Storage Manager. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please feel free to comment and like below and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, you should also have to the right a recommended video and uh, we will shortly be uploading more content on the Sony ODA and how this integrates. Thank you.